Warming up your gasoline car is a myth that stemmed from old carbureted motors that needed fuel atomization to stabilize prior to hitting the gas. But this isn't a problem anymore with modern electronic fuel injection, and for all the people that warm up their car for 5 to 10 minutes, it really can cause damage to your motor due to emissions protocols built into your car. But I know what you came for, so here's the quick answer. The majority of engine wear occurs upon startup, so start your car, let oil circulate for 15 to 40 seconds while pressure builds, and then drive off gently to warm up your motor until your oil pressure stabilizes and your oil itself fully warms up. You can't always trust your dash to tell you since it might reference coolant which reaches operating temp much quicker, so average 10 to 15 minutes of non-idle driving before your oil thins out to spec. And as for your gearbox, it absolutely hates idle whether it's an automatic or a manual since moving gears need to be lubricated by oil and there's barely any pressure moving oil around your gearbox at idle. And the high idle of your motor itself when cold starting is just an emissions protocol to get your catalytic converter working as quickly as possible. Now that that's out of the way, here's the details. Your pistons need all the oil they can get when you cold start since the oil is thicker and doesn't cling to the cylinder walls like it would once it reaches operating temp. A large problem occurs when you idle to warm up your car because when you start your car in the morning, emissions protocols want your catalytic converter to start working as soon as possible since the majority of emissions happen on cold starts. The material inside of the converter heats up and begins to convert harmful emissions to cleaner air when exposed to fuel. To make sure your catalytic converter gets the fuel it needs to quickly heat up, your ECU sends excess fuel into the combustion chamber which can wash down your cylinder walls, even though modern fuel injectors can finally atomize the fuel. Fuel wash is most likely to occur during the cold start itself. Washing down means washing the oil off of the cylinder walls since fuel itself is such a great solvent. This leads to poor idle lubrication of the cylinder walls, and while it won't cause issues immediately, this minor wear adds up every time you idle excessively to warm up your motor past those necessary 15 to 40 seconds. All OEMs acknowledge this issue, but can't do anything about it since they need to work within emissions restrictions. So with that said, if you're in extreme cold, idle for one minute minimum. But as this video was for normal climates, here's the deal. Oil pressure is within the first few seconds from startup. Full oil circulation occurs within 10 to 30 seconds for most engines, and the delta spike between the oil pump and oil pressure relief valve settles once the oil reaches operating temperature and the oil thins out enough for the pressure to go down so the relief valve closes. But the relief valve being open doesn't pose any safety concerns since the motor is fully lubricated within that 15 to 40 second period, which signifies properly warmed up oil. So don't think in extremes like most mechanics will by saying as soon as you put your seatbelt on you're good to go, or you need to idle for 10 to 15 minutes. Both ways of thinking are incorrect, and 15 to 40 seconds is really all that's needed for modern EFI motors, while 60 seconds would be the upper safe limit for warm-up idle time. The only suggestion that I could make is to subscribe, like this video, and comment down below if you want more clear and concise answers like this one. Thanks for watching.